All right, here we go. We got the drill press here we're gonna be going to next because we got our car all done. We're ready to go. There's the other drill press over there. We gotta go look down here quick. Oh, look at that giant stop button. That's in case there's any problems. There's a nice big start button there so that we can turn it on and shut it off. A couple things on the drill press. One is there's this nice guard here that just lifts and clicks and opens real nice. What that's there for is to keep your fingers away from that drill bit so we don't get them caught up and get hurt on it. The other way working with the drill press is we have this part right here. This is the feed lever. So as I rotate this forward, the drill bit goes down. And then we have the clamp. The clamp is what holds our board while we're drilling so we don't have to worry about holding it and getting our fingers caught up in that drill press too. So we got our board all done. We are ready to rock and roll here. So let's get some holes drilled. First thing I have to do is, I look at the bottom of my car where my name is, I put that tight against this board here. That sets this drill bit six millimeters from the bottom of my car. And I line up with my axle hole that I'm gonna wanna drill. Holding it tight, line it up, and I clamp it in place. Now this car can't go anywhere. Close the guard, clamp, close the guard, clamp, close the guard. And then we're gonna turn the drill press on, it's spinning super fast there. And here we go, we're gonna start our CO2 car, oh no. All right. I don't know how far I'm supposed to go, I, I don't know, I don't know. Oh wait a second, it stops when you're done. You don't have to worry about how far to go, it automatically does it, we shut the stop, or shut it off. Wait for it to bit to stop, and we can unclamp it. Look at that, drilled our first axle hole. Nice, came right through the back side. I might have to dig a little bit of that out. But nice, it's all done with our first axle hole. First time using the drill press. We're gonna use our block to clear all that sawdust off the table. Don't use your hand like that. That's gonna get you some slivers and stuff on your hand, it's gonna be bad news. Next thing, we're gonna line our back axle hole up. Line it up with the line. Oh no, it's not clamping. What do I do, what do I do? I don't know what to do, I can't get it to clamp. It's not gonna be in the right spot if I clamp it. Maybe I do it this way. Oh no, that doesn't do it right. Oh wait, that's right, we made that line on the back side. This is why, so we can flip it over, still keeping our name to the board. Lining it up. Just perfect, clamping it. Make sure you hear the click. Clamp, close, clamp, close again. Turning it on, bringing it down through. Coming down a little bit, bring it up. Down a little bit, bring it up. Down a little bit, bring it all the way up. And yes, wait for that bit to stop before you open the guard again. Got a nice hole, take your board and sweep off chip so that they go onto the floor. And we are done with our two axle holes. We got our two axle holes done. I'm so excited to have those done. We're ready to move on to the scroll saw and cut our front view. Here we are at the scroll saw. Oh, look at that. It's got the same start and stop switch as the bands or the drill press. That's awesome. Make sure we know how to do everything. Again, we're looking at the scroll saw there. Oh wow, this thing looks so awesome. I can't wait. I'm so excited to use the scroll saw here. I'm ready to cut the front view of my car. Oh no, I don't remember what I'm doing here at all. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Wait a second, let me try to figure this out. Let me try to remember. Oh yeah, we have a hold down foot on the scroll saw. That's this part right here. Look at that, that bar comes up. Oh, right here's a handle. If I Let's see what happens when I Oh, it locks it in place. Oh, what was it? What did Mr. Hahn say? Hold down foot has to be how far above. We'll get this out of the way for right now. Has to be how far above my board. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, wait a second. Hold down. It has to hold the board down. So it has to, you slide your board underneath there. That's right. And then you just lock it in place. It just holds it a little bit there. You don't have to crank on that and it should hold it down. It should be able to slide easy, but just touch the top of your board. Oh, what's this thing? This thing's crazy. You can go into all kinds of different ideas. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, wait a second. 
This looks like it blows some air at the blade. It does. That gets the sawdust out of my way. So let's see if I can get this kind of moved around. Don't crank it, don't want to crank on it too hard. It feels like it's gonna break. Oh no, I don't want to break it. So we'll face it at the blade. Okay, I'm all set up. I'm ready to go. First thing I have to do is cut my relief cuts. Thank goodness I drew those. Turn it on with the switch. And oh, yeah! Nice job. It's coming nice and easy. Holding down, putting my hands off to the side. Another relief cut. All right, got our two relief cuts done there. Let's get our relief cuts on the back done. Holding to the table, holding down, holding off to the side. Whoa, that made some noise. And we're into the relief cut there. Nice, I'm all done with all my relief cuts. Now I have to start doing my regular cuts. Making sure to put a lot of pressure down. Oh no, oh no, I'm getting off my line. What do I do, what do I do? Oh, stop, slow down, back up a little bit. Get back onto your cut line. You wanna be on your cut line. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, I turned it too hard. It was making that big noise. Don't turn it so hard, more release cut. Make sure not to have your finger behind here when you're pushing, keep it off to the side. Oh, that is so cool, that was so much fun. We got that big chunk out of there. Remember to use your board and get it away from the blade and you can put that off to the side. Nice, that's looking so great. I'm so happy with how it's turning out. All right, look at that, it's coming around. Now it might be a little bit crooked, but that's okay. We don't have to worry about it. It's coming around so nice. Now I'm gonna do the top here. Uh-oh, it didn't come out with my relief cut. What do I do, what do I do? Back up a little bit. And cut back in. Oh, there's some stuff I'm cutting though. I need to make sure to save all these pieces that have information on them. So I'm gonna put them off to the side over here. Oh no, it didn't get to my relief cut again. Back out and just cut that little piece. Use the board to get that piece out of there. Save that piece, it's got information on the top yet. Now this one here, I can go this way and start cutting, but when I get to the end, I'm gonna have the blade right by my fingers. That's not good. I wanna flip it around. pieces I cut off here and make sure to keep those in the right order. And I'll take a piece of masking tape, put it across here and put it around the two spots so I have lines still for the bandsaw. Yes, let's go do that. All right, here I go, I got my masking tape here. I got my, all my pieces ready to go. First thing I want to do with a piece of masking tape is I want to stretch it across here. And make sure all my pieces stay nice and lined up like this. And look at, that's so cool. I can see my cut lines right through the masking tape. That is awesome. Now I need to keep it from going sideways here. So I need to do a couple pieces of masking tape this way. I need to do one in the front here too. And maybe I'll do one more in the middle. You don't have to go crazy with this. We're gonna cut right through the masking tape. Whoa, that's so nice, that's so cool. I'm ready to go on the bandsaw.
All right, here's my car. I'm ready to cut the top view, but I have to cut that on the bandsaw because the scroll saw can't cut that. So here we go. Here's the bandsaw. It's got a lot of the same stuff. Big start and stop switch again, just like everything else, so we know exactly what we're doing. Great. And if I remember right, some of the pieces on the bandsaw, this part is the up, the blade guard. This part back here is what it's connected to. If I loosen this up, I can raise and lower the blade guard. Whoa, that's so cool, awesome. So let me set that up. If I remember right, Mr. Han told me a quarter inch above. So I gotta put my car next to it and I can't be down here. Cause if I put it down here and I put it a quarter inch above, it's gonna get stuck. So I have to be up here at the high point. I'm gonna put my finger on top of the blade car, put the blade guard on there and shut that. Perfect. Now I got that blade guard set up. All right, now I'm ready to start doing my cuts. A couple things different than the scroll saw. Is when I'm making my cuts here, I need to make sure that if I'm backing out, I'm not, I don't have the saw on. So I'm gonna start out with my relief cuts. Shut the saw off, cause I gotta back out. There's my first relief cut. Shut the saw off, cause we're backing out again. There's my second relief cut. Wow, this is going so good. Shut the saw off, cause I'm making a relief cut. We're backing out again. All right. This is going way better than I thought. It's so easy. It cuts so nice. Let's start out cutting this front here then. Oh, it's so cool. All right, now it's time to go to the file and rasp and shape this out. 